What's happening, folks? Back with another reaction, back with some more hardcore. We're going back to a 2020 record from the Gabberhead label, which is a label that goes all the way back to 96, as it makes clear here on this picture disc. Uh, but for a long time, I think they had like changed to only releasing um, digital tracks, or I think maybe they even had like a long gap in the catalog. But in the last little bit, they've come back, and I think this is um, the first... Uh, yeah, it's listed Gabberhead like V001. Uh, I don't know if they've done other discs since then. Uh, I think most of the catalog is still like digital. Um, but yeah, they're, they're active again, and I believe Gabberhead is run by two brothers. Um, and I'm forgetting, I think they just produce under the name Gabberhead uh, together. I am uh, not um, seeing specifically here. Um, nevertheless, as I said, I think it is two brothers who run the label, uh, and this is a picture disc from 2020. And we're going to listen to a tune by Japanese hardcore producer Kamikaze, uh, which, you know, I suppose if there was ever a name that felt like a natural fit for like a hardcore producer from Japan, it feels like that's just a really good choice. Uh, nevertheless, the tune is called The Power, and indeed it features a sample or a vocal, I'm not sure which, I would guess it's a sample. Uh, nevertheless, uh, which says very boldly, The Power, uh, and it just has that classic Gabber style, which again, that, you know, I've been listening to, or reacting to tracks on a few different labels that are themed around the early hardcore Gabber style, Gabadome being another good example, and this label is very much in that style, so uh, once again, shout out to the picture disc, I really do enjoy that. We're going to listen to, as I said, Kamikaze's tune, The Power, and once more, this is a picture disc from 2020. Make sure I have it on the right side, which I believe is B1. like distorted bass line, that, like 90s gather bass line. You could listen to it any time. Acid birds. Frenetic dissonant hardcore synth, anyone? Very much part of the gather flavor.
intensity of it as it brings back the intensity of the power. Like the power, here it is. Little acid blue burn. is between the tracks it's like less than a full second um, which I get it you know you have a limited amount of space and you know you want the tracks that you know people not to have to alter their tracks well because we only have about a four and a half minute space um, but yeah sometimes it's like annoying not just for reaction purposes because I'm like oh let's listen to this track well actually that was the end of the last track because there's not really a big enough um, gap but sometimes when like you're mixing and you're trying to like you know you have a limited amount of time especially with hardcore you know you really have to work when you mix hardcore whereas mixing like progressive trance there you can like just kind of zone out and sort of vibe with the crowd for two or three minutes and then you still have like five or six minutes to get ready to make your transition uh, hardcore is not like that hardcore a lot of tracks you know three and a half minutes maybe four minutes maybe five if you're lucky um there are some tracks that are a bit longer than that um i think there's like a the ophidian remix of lenny d's um which we'll call it uh, forgotten moments i think it's like 11 minutes or something but that is a like notable exception um, so yeah, you don't have a lot of time to mix, and sometimes you're like trying to cue up the first beat on a track and get it ready for a moment. It's like, damn it, no, that's the last track, and you're trying to like, like hurry, like get it cued before it gets to that moment. Um, so sometimes like big, uh, bigger gaps between tracks is nice if the record can manage to like, you know, um, accommodate all the tracks and so on on a given release, given the restrictions of the format. So. Um, yeah, it is one of those things where it's you know one of a number of records I have, not just hardcore, acid techno too. There's some where like the last track ends and less than a 1001 later, boom, the next track starts, which can make it sort of, you know, tricky. But in any case, uh, a really cool tune. It just has all the classic hallmarks of Gabber. It's got that big kick. It's got that sort of classic sort of distorted bass line. Um, it's got the frenetic, like energetic synth, a bit of dissonance. It's got some acid chirps, some acid bluebirds, um, that big sort of like heavy synth, a boom, which is almost like, I don't know if it's technically like a percussion, percussion element um, because it's such like a low um, like bassy kind of hit but ultimately I like the sort of like rhythmic metronome of that um, yeah just the top track and a cool sample again I don't know what the samples from um, and there were actually more lines in the larger sample than I thought I was just hearing in my head that the power uh, but there were obviously some uh, obviously some other lines there so I don't know what that comes from uh, but just a really well composed tune shout out to kamikaze shout out to the gabberhead label um, and yeah, shout out to Wicked Triple X, Maurice, a really cool hardcore artist who makes early hardcore, like Gabber Records, lots of like reggae samples, which I always love. Um, but it was through my desire to find more of his music on vinyl that led me to both Gabba Dome and Gabber Head. Uh, so yeah, big, big shout out to Maurice for making great tunes such that it made me curious in a way about his work that led me to a couple other vinyl releasing uh, Gabber labels. So yeah, big ups to him as well. Do let me know what you think of this one. I will see you next time. Peace.